You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. Hey folks, I'm Mike. This is Inkdependence, and today we're talking about this. This is Monteverde's Scotch Brown ink, and this is one of those inks that I've had for a long time. You just kind of forget about reviewing because you use it so much. Uh, this comes in a 30 mil bottle, probably also the big 90 mil, although I don't have that one. Uh, I got it for eight bucks, and I got it from AndersonPens.com. Uh, and this is the only ink actually that's been in one of my pens, uh, and that's the um, uh, Franklin Christoph Pocket 66. And I can't show it to you because it's locked in my office all door during these quarantine times. I haven't seen it in months. Uh, I, I missed that pen. All right, so let's see what this guy looks like. I think, actually, the picture on the back is not super representative of this ink. A lot of times, this is pretty close, but this one is way, way lighter than the actual ink. So let's get in there. This is what that ink looks like, and as you can see, it's like a deep brown. Well, deep? I don't know. Pretty medium brown. I'm going to go with medium brown, although it does have a lot of shading uh, in parts of this swatch. You're not going to see a huge amount of shading from the nib. You'll see some, as you can see uh, down here. You'll see some, as you can see. Yeah, whatever. I'm keeping it in. Keep it rolling. And uh, so you have a little bit of shading here and there. Uh, this is, of course, my Rhodia 80 grams per square meter paper, uh, and the flow, I've said, is just right in every pen. I've got it in three pens, only two of which I can show you because of, because of quarantine. Uh, this one is the uh, Twisby Eco. I've had Scotch Brown in here for a very long time. I actually don't know how long. It's not the only ink that's been in this pen, but it's been in there for a long time. Uh, in fact, I couldn't actually find the I don't have the notation in my, my ink journal. <laughs> so it must be in my other ink journal. Uh, and then this is a Monteverde Ritma, which is a really interesting magnetic cap pen. Uh, both This is a medium, uh, and this Twisby Eco is a fine. Uh, I think my, uh, my uh, Pocket 66 has a broad or something, but uh, in that one, it's the uh, antique glass, and so it looks kind of like kind of like Coke sloshing around in an antique glass bottle, like a like a Coke bottle. Anyway, it makes me laugh. Uh, and I've really liked this ink, actually, in both of these pens, and I love it in that Pocket 66. So, uh, pretty good on bad paper. Yeah, it's pretty good on bad paper. Here it is uh, on some 20-pound, 30% recycled copy paper. And uh, I think it actually acts pretty well. And look at this ink splotch I got on here. Nice, right? Uh, but there's a little bit of show through, a couple of tiny spots of bleed here and there. But this is probably the worst paper you're going to want to write on. And uh, it's working just fine on here from the medium and the fine. So there you go. Pretty, pretty good performance. Uh, do I have any feathers or anything? Nah, I don't see any. Uh, maybe a little, maybe that's a feather? Nah, it's not a feather. It's just a little bit of shading. So there you go. All right. Works well there. Uh, performance, pretty good on bad paper. Quality is mild shading, and those are the pens I was using. So, as you can see here, you get a little bit of a different color from uh, the fine versus the medium nib. Uh, the fine seems to concentrate just a little bit more. Also, it's been in this pen longer, so I think maybe uh, it's gotten just a little bit darker in the pen, but not a huge amount. 30 mil for eight bucks. That's a pretty good price. All right, let's do a quick water test. Take a look at the chromatography and then see this on some other papers and some ink comparisons. Let's get this, uh, get this water on here. Don't worry, the water is not blue. The, uh, the syringe is a little bit blue. There we go. Give that a little bit of a, a twiggle. Shake it around. I'm not expecting huge water resistance from this or anything, or, uh, I don't, do I have any water resistant browns? Um, I mean, I've got to have some. A lot of those Kala inks have to be water resistant and brownish. But otherwise, not so much. Let's go ahead and let this uh, dab away. Give it a dab. Yeah, no real water resistance here is the answer. Is there some? I mean, you can kind of, like it came up on here quite a lot. You can kind of see where those dots and lines and stuff were, but I wouldn't really call that any kind of water resistance. So keep this one away from water. Okay, let's look at it on a couple of different papers. First, uh, my Inky Finger is currently inked notebook. This is, of course, wheat straw paper. You can get this from, uh, well, you can Google it up, Inky Fingers. There's not a whole lot of it left. And this is the Monteverde Ritma. As I said, I don't know where the Twisby one is. It's been in there for too long. <laughs> Likewise with the other one. Anyway, um, so this has been in there since the beginning of May. I was like, let's try it in this pen when I just got it because I love this ink. And you can see it's a nice kind of medium brown on this wheat straw paper. Looks good. And then, 
Here it is on my ink journal, Tomoe River, and I think it looks even nicer here. This is an ink that really performs well on every paper that I've put it on, and I dig it. Okay. So let's take a look at some ink comparisons. There are uh, a lot of browns like this. I, I really, uh, I've got a few, it turns out. And also, I got this cool stamp. I got this from Well Appointed Desk, and I think it's really cool. I like putting the stamp down, just smearing some ink over it. It's good times. I made a whole new swatch because I like that so much. Okay, so here it is next to uh, Monteverde Brown Sugar, which is a darker brown with more of a reddish hue to it. I also really like brown sugar. Uh, I don't have a whole bottle of that one, but I need to get some. And then this is uh, Seitz Kruznox, uh Chestnut Brown, right here. And you can see that's actually very, very close, I think, to Scotch Brown. These are these are very close, closer than these two even, maybe. Then, let's see, we've got, uh, this, uh, this is Franklin Christoph's Brown 732, which is another brown that I really like quite a lot, but it's a much darker brown, I think. Got a deeper brown color, but definitely in the same hue range. If you look at like, the tip here, where we've got some uh, some very light shading, you can also see it's pretty much the same here. It's just, this is darker, I think, overall. Then, here is Monteverde's Pumpkin Cake which I haven't actually put in a pen yet, so I've just got the little uh, pencil notation down here. Uh, and uh, these are actually, I think, very close as well. Pumpkin cake being a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit yellower than uh, Scotch Brown. Then we have Tasha's uh, Suchi? I'm gonna say it's Suchi, I think that's like horse. Uh, in Japanese, and I got this from Anderson Pens. I haven't had a chance to use Suji in a, in a pen yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to it because it's also a very close, although again, a little bit yellower. It's closer maybe to uh, to this one than, uh, than it is to this one. And then lastly, uh, this is an ink that I think is actually a very interesting ink, and this is Diamine's Bach. Uh, and I, uh, I haven't had a chance to use Bach either. I was another one I've got a swatch of very recently. Actually, I got a bottle of this recently. I'm pretty psyched about that. Uh, but this is a little bit lighter. It's definitely in the same family. Although this one has um, a bit of has a bit of sheen in it. Uh, not a huge amount, but a little bit. You get a sheen off of this one. I don't know, I'm seeing a little bit of like shine here, but I don't think it's legit sheen. Uh, you don't really see that from the pen anyway. So there you go. All right. So this has been. Oh, we didn't look at the chromatography. There it is. <laughs> Whoops! So this is the chromatography for Scotch Brown, as you can see. Uh, yeah, the line was down here, and there's just nothing left. All that ink moved. But also, there's not a whole lot going on in this ink. It's not one of these super complicated browns. Sometimes these browns get really weird, and they've got a zillion different colors in there. But this one is pretty much just brown. Like, you have a little bit of, like, light, um, almost like light pinkish tones in there, just a skosh, but mostly just brown. There you go. Scotch Brown? It's got brown in it. All right, so this has been Monteverde's Scotch Brown. Check this one out. It's one of the browns that I really like. It's got a great flow. It's got a great feel on the nib. Uh, no water resistance, but, like, what are you going to do? So uh, check this one out if you're looking for a brown ink. Also, there are a lot of cool brown inks. Don't mistake. Uh, don't, don't sleep on brown inks. Check them out. All right, that's it. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Get. Scoot. Skedaddle. Go on. Get. Yeah, those uh, inks that you forget about reviewing, did you? Ah.